Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get open for business here, and let's wake up the football gods. Wake up there, guys. Wake up. How's everybody doing on this Saturday? At least it's finally the frickin' weekend. We've got that at least to look forward to here. As we um, know that we don't have a game until next Monday at 5 o'clock. The Cowboys will be playing Monday evening football at 5 o'clock because the Ravens game, which was supposed to be on Thursday, got postponed to Sunday, and now it's been kicked to Monday. Oh, sorry, Tuesday. So unless the Steelers-Ravens game doesn't get played on Tuesday, then the Cowboys would play on Thursday against the Ravens, and then they would have to add another week to the season. I think that's how it goes. I'm getting to be to the point where I'm getting confused now myself. But at the moment, the Cowboys will be playing on – Monday night, 5 o'clock, next Monday. So we've got like 10 days, 10 days to have this bad taste in our mouth of the Washington football team literally jacking us up. But, hey, it is what it is. We can't change the fact that our team is just not a good team and that our team has been completely decimated by injuries. I, I don't want to make excuses for it, but, you know, the reality is we don't have an offensive line. Our running back is not running well. Our starting quarterback is gone. And our defense has been less than desired. And we have to actually look at our coaching as well and wonder, is this because of the pandemic? Or is this because of we just don't have the right people here to succeed? I guess we're going to find out next year because I don't think Jerry Jones is making a move. And in fact, I almost wonder is are the Cowboys intentionally not trying to, to tank, but not necessarily put themselves in the best position to win. I'm sorry. As much as Mike McCarthy tries to defend punting, excuse me, fake punting on your 25 yard line. I, I just, I just don't see it. I, I just don't understand it. In fact, I dare say Cameron Billings brought this one to my attention. And this is crazy. I want you guys to take a look at this. It's a fake. Trying to get the first down. And the Rams are going to be close to it. Nick Scott, the special teams tackler, looks like he's short. Took the direct snap, and the Cardinals and Kingsbury were ready for it. And there you go. There's that, that game-changing play with special teams. Did you see Sean McVay reading his lips? He looked like, what are you doing? Was, <laughs> so he, was he ready for that like, fake to be called? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Are you a freaking idiot? Yeah, are you you're fake punting on, on our 17-yard line? And Dude. Something that will definitely be Dude. To the top. You Dude. always have those plays involved in your game plan. Are you and crazy you what, or just playing stupid? The best stupid. time to call them is backed up in this situation because the other team is not expecting that. But that's a great yeah. job by the Arizona special team. So, we have to wonder. At first, I thought that was one of those things that, you know, let's try something different because this is going to be a great idea. But this guy has done this before with the same results. Putting your defense wall, I mean, put, putting your team back against the wall. And they had a 3 nothing lead here trying this. I, I'm just mystified that they would do this again. So this is where I now start to question my coaching staff and wonder, is Mike McCarthy all that he was made out to be? Did he do a sales job on us? Um, talking about analytics and how we're going to be a smart team and well-run team and, you know, the mystery of we're not putting numbers on players' shirts because we don't want people to take our players and everything else. Did he literally outsmart himself? Because that's what I'm beginning to think. But if you're a Cowboy fan, 
the thing that you do at least can hang your hat on at the moment is the tankathon. The tankathon, as you can see up in here, right now the Jets at 0 10 are probably not going to win a game. That they literally will get the number one pick. The Jaguars at 1 and 9, you don't see them winning a couple of games. That they'll probably say at number two. Cincinnati losing Joe Burrow, although we play them, you look at that and say, well, I'm not sure that Cincinnati is going to win a whole bunch of games. So there's that. And then there's us. We have a soft schedule in comparison, but you can't look at anybody on our schedule right now and say, yeah, we have an advantage that we should be favored anymore. It just should not be favored anymore for the Dallas Cowboys. You just don't. And at least this is the time to empty the bench. This is when you go through and you start figuring out who are the players that you have on this team. Who are the guys that we can look and say, next year, these guys can help us win some football? And you start trying to really use this almost like practice. You know, we talking about... We talking about practice. Not a game. Not, not, a, a not, game. not the game that I go out there and, and die for and play every game like it's my last. Not the game. We talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? But that's all we got right now is hope for the future and the draft. And if we can get that fourth spot, that fourth spot, we can do a lot of team building. And as nice as it would have been to be able to be bragging on the Washington football team right now, I mean, I'm excuse me bragging about my team over the Washington football team. <sighs> just not going to happen. We just don't have the players. And maybe not the coaches. And just look forward for the draft. I mean, that's all I got for you. We got a whole lot of time before our next game. Tomorrow we can watch and see what the stinking Giants do. And Monday night we can watch and see what the Eagles do. Um, but there is no joy in Dallas right now if you're a Cowboy fan. It's just not. And, well, I'm going to take this day, do some of the honeydew stuff, and um, start getting ready for Christmas. And if you are a tailgate member, make sure you email me and say, hey, I'm a tailgate member um, because I've got something that we're doing special for you guys um, for the holidays so make sure you do that so that way i can do what i want to do and other than that well make sure you have a safe and beautiful day and if you're traveling to get back home from the holidays be careful out there i'm mark holmes and well just ain't feeling it this morning with the dallas cowboys I feel kind of like joe boo just want to be passed out see you soon